What if you wanted to use the PyQJS API to do some data processing, but you want to automate them fully? That means you don't even want a human present. You want to trigger that automatically. Let's say we have some really useful algorithm in the processing toolbox, and I want to process some data in a pipeline. Let's say I'm downloading some data and I want to run this processing algorithm on it without you being present. I just want to use the QGIS tools to be able to process it. This is called running QGIS in headless mode. That means you don't start QGIS, you don't run the UI. You just use the functions that the API provides to do the data processing. This is useful when you are using this API in other data processing pipeline. So you're writing some Python code, which is running elsewhere, and you want to just use the processing tools from QGIS, or you want to run this processing on a server where you are not physically there to click those buttons and trigger those scripts. Let's work on this section. What we want to do is we want to take some data. We have this SRTM raster and we have the seismic zones. And I want to do some zonal stats. I want to find the average value of this elevation in the seismic zone. You can do this in QGIS interface using the zonal stats algorithm. So we can say, I want to run the zonal stats with seismic zone, SRTM as a layer, and I want to you know, take the elevation and compute some statistics. As we learned earlier, this algorithm is a you know, feature-based algorithm. It is very fast, it's multi-threaded, and it may be faster than other algorithms that are available in other Python libraries for doing zonal stats. So if I do this, I get some answers. Again, we need to fix the geometries, but we want to now run this and create an output layer automatically using this tool in the toolbox. I don't want to use QGIS in the graphical mode. So I'm going to close QGIS now. So my QGIS won't even be running. You need QGIS installed, whichever machine you are trying to run this, if you're trying to run this on a server, you still need QGIS installed. You need all those functions and files available, but you can now run this completely from your know, Python script. So let me first show you, then you can try this on your system. I'm going to open my text editor and we're going to copy paste this code here. Let's go through the code. This code imports this thing called QGS application and we create an instance of this QGS application class. This is a class that creates your QGS, the whole QGS application. So we say, I want QGS in my Python code. I have the second parameter is false. That means don't start QGS. Just create, give me the object of QGS so I can do stuff with QGS, but I don't want the QGS interface. I just want to be able to start it. So you do this and you init QGS. That means all this libraries, everything is initialized. QGS is ready. And now you can write some Python code. We say, I want to use some processing tools. We'll go and say, this is my data directory. I want my seismic zone layer, SRTM layer, and I want to run this algorithm. So go and run this fixed geometries algorithm. Once you fix the geometries, you run the zonal stats algorithm and save the output in this output path. So my output path is this geo package called seismic zone with elevation. And once you're done, QGS exit.qgs, stop QGS. This will use the QGS libraries and the tools to do the data processing without having to start QGS. And you can kind of do this completely using Python. Let's save this. I'm going to save this on my desktop. I'm just going to name it zonalstats.py. This is a regular Python file. You can use any other Python code here. You can integrate it with the rest of the Python workflows without any problems. Open a terminal, or go to the desktop. Now I have my file here. I want to run this. Typically when you have a Python file, you just say Python zonal stats or Py. When I run this, it's not clear which is this Python. I want to use the Python that comes with QGIS because unless I use that, I will not have PyQGIS. If I have a regular Python installed in my system, I will not be able to run all the PyQGIS commands here. So one problem with running this is we want to tell which Python to use how to find the QGIS libraries that are installed on a machine and we need to do all the configuration. So there's an additional step required to configure and tell your system how to find the Python libraries and QGIS libraries. The configuration will be different, different on the operating system. We have the configuration files available here for both Windows and Mac. If you're on Linux, it'll be similar to here, but again, you need to adjust this based on the Linux distribution that you have. I'm, going, I'm on a Mac OS. I'm going to first demonstrate this using Mac OS. I'm going to copy this into another file. So I'm going to create another file and save it. 
alongside my script. So I have a zonal stash of pi. I'm going to save this as a shell file. On Windows, we'll save it as a batch file. This just sets all, all your environment variables. When you run this, it says, I have, I'm using QGIS LTR version. If you're using a different QGIS version, you need to specify this here and say, my QGIS is installed in this path. So this shows me on my Mac where I've installed QGIS. So it's on slash application slash QGIS LTR and so on. It shows where is the Python path. The Python is available here. So this is the Python that comes with your QGIS. So it's a use that Python and it configures some of the variables. Once it's done, then it says, run the script zonal stats or pi using the Python. And once you're done, you do the cleanup. So now I, if I want to run the script, I just run this run script.sh, it'll configure my variables, it'll know where to find the Python to run the script, and then it'll run the script here. So we'll open the terminal again. And again, you can see I don't have QGIS running. QGIS is closed. I, I can just run this command without being present or being having QGIS open. Just gonna run the script and it says I'm using this Python that comes with QGIS. And it says I've created this geo package. So it ran completely in a headless mode, use the QGIS processing algorithm to read some data and create this output. And if I open this data, it'll be the output layer with uh, values extracted from the elevation data. And this shows the setup you need to run QGIS libraries using Python by configuring it. This configuration will be very similar if you want to use PyQGIS libraries from Jupyter Notebook. You need to tell Jupyter Notebook where is your QGIS and Python installed. If you want to use this from another text editor, you need to do similar configuration to tell that editor where to find those packages. Let's try this. So if you are on Windows, you can first create this Python file, use your editor, create this file, zonal stats or pi using your favorite text editor, save it as zonal stats or pi, maybe on desktop or downloads, wherever you want. Secondly, in the same place, you create one more file with this text and save it as run script.bat. This one says, this is where I have my QGIS installed and go and set up my environment. This script assumes you are, you have installed QGIS using the OSGO for W installers. We recommend using OSGO for W installers always for QGIS, which has all the additional scripts that will allow you to configure your environment correctly. So make sure if you install QGIS in a different path, the default path that you install is the C drive. If you install QGIS in a different drive, you have to change this. Make sure you open your Windows Explorer, go to C drive and see if you have this folder, OSGO for W. And make sure you have this another folder, QGIS LTR. If you install LTR, it'll be LTR. If you use a different version of QGIS, it'll be just QGIS. So make sure you change the path accordingly. If you use LTR and use the R instructions to install QGIS, the script will work without any issues. So go and save this as run.script. And once you've done this, you can open a command prompt. So just open from your start menu, open a command prompt, browse to the directory. If you put it in downloads, go to CD downloads or CD desktop, and then just type run script.bat. That will just run the command on, it'll trigger this Python script and do the processing and give you the output. If you're on Mac, you can follow the configuration below. Same concept, but this will be .sh script that you need to run and it'll set the environment variable and trigger the Python code.